Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and today I'm going to talk about a popular website which is taking the web by storm. No, it's not Plurk. It is called FriendFeed. And I'm going to talk about the mobile component of FriendFeed which, uh, which has been lacking over the past few months. I know a lot of people wanted FriendFeed.com to have SMS support similar to what you see on Twitter. Well, Benjamin Golub wrote this nice application called FF2Go. You can go there by going to FF2Go.com on your mobile device and you see I have a, a shortcut here on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that and it brings up ff2go.com and as you can see it looks almost exactly like the friend feed website on your web browser except at the top we have various links to go to your friends feed to rooms I'm going to tap on rooms you can see all the different rooms that are available that I have joined and I talked about rooms on buona.org if you're not familiar with that I suggest you go to buona.org and check out the post and I talked about all the various ways you can use friend feed rooms. I'm going to tap on Battlestar Galactica because I haven't seen this week's episode yet and I'm not going to you know, read too much of this but just want to show you <laughs> what exactly is in there. And I can also tap on me which shows everything about what I've been posting to friend feed and it has everything listed in a nice easy to read format. I can also go to the everyone feed which shows everyone and uh, this is pretty much everybody on friend feed and what they're posting and as you can see there's some of the languages which are not very well supported a lot of blocks here but uh, you know most of the English stuff shows up pretty pretty well and finally there's search so if I want to search for something like oh I don't know iPhone if I can spell it iPhone is going to search friend feed for iPhone and here's all the search entries that have come up for that particular term. Now this particular application is running on the Google App Engine so it is very fast very stable and I think Benjamin is doing a great job in, in upkeep and keeping features uh, going. Now if you scroll to the bottom I'm going to go down to the settings here there's a link at the bottom called settings here you can adjust some of the settings within friend feed to go you can change the font size which I currently have set to 12 you can change the number of entries per page which I have set to 10 I believe the default is 30 and uh, sometimes if you hide a lot of entries within um, within friend feed they don't show up in uh, they don't show up in friend feed to go they only show up at the bottom as a statement that says oh there's five or six entries hidden so sometimes I may have a lot of things hidden and not a lot of things show up so 10 is a nice number for me you can open links in a new window and one of my favorite new features is that you can open links using the Google mobile proxy now some cell phones a lot of phones out there don't have a rich browser I mean a lot of the smartphones do but not your your typical phone now what this does that option to use the Google mobile proxy is that it will use Google to format the links that you click on in Google's mobile proxy so that it will look good on your particular mobile phone so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this link uh, Xbox makes money this fiscal year from Kotaku which is the first link if I tap on that guy it's gonna go through Google as you see at the top it's going through the mobile proxy and it reformats the article so that it looks legible and readable on my iPhone and I think this is a really nice feature that Benjamin added I think he got this feedback from the community and uh, it turned out to be a very good feature because a lot of these sites don't look all that great especially if you don't have an iPhone or an iPod touch so this is friend feed to go you can comment on entries you can like entries you can do various things within them uh, one of the things you can't do which the API doesn't allow just that yet is that you can't hide particular entries you can't uh, you can't go in here and like hide something if it's getting on your nerves that's something that the friend fee API doesn't have yet but pretty much everything else if I want to comment on let's find something to comment on shall we uh, let's see I got the new iPhone and I'm gonna comment up oh, no, I clicked on the wrong link sorry and I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna tap on comment there and a comment box comes up and I'm gonna say I want and do a period there and do post and what that will do is that will post a new comment to that entry and if I go to the top here there it is it says I want commented by me and it gives me a timestamp on a comment that's something that the friend feed website doesn't do by default but these API clients allow you to do if I go to any of these comments down here they tell you 
uh, exactly how long ago that those sites were commented on. So this is Friend Feed to Go, a great addition to the mobile family <laughs> of websites to use on your mobile device. And if you're contemplating on whether you do to use friendfeed.com, and one of the one of the things that were keeping you from doing it was a mobile presence. I highly recommend you check out ff2go.com. It's absolutely free, and all it requires is a friend feed account. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and this is Friend Feed to Go.